Yo, what's good, Tris Dance and Tris Fam? Y'all have been tweeting at me and tweeting at me and tweeting at me. To check out Taylor Swift performing Lover live, I gotta be honest with you guys. I try my best to save all my reactions to new music and it, it can be torturous in some ways, in a lot of ways. <laughs> and so I actually haven't even heard this song. I've maybe like heard it briefly, but anytime it comes on, either I will change the radio station, cover my ears, or just do whatever I can to avoid hearing the song. So I've heard little bits of it, but I don't remember it very well. And here's her performing it live acoustic, which is, like I've said in the past, one of my favorite ways to enjoy Taylor Swift. But before we get started, be sure to check me out on, oh my God, where is it? Where is it? Instagram <laughs> on Instagram and Twitter. You guys, I haven't done videos in a while. It's scary. All right, let's go. We could leave the Christmas lights up till January. This is our place. We make the rules. She's almost just kind of talking on pitch, but like super, almost slightly aggressively breathy. The only like deviation I would say from like speech like in this is this upper note here. This is our because she's saying, uh, th this is R, and she's not saying, th this is R, the way you would speak it, which is like sort of morphing the, the, the vowels and consonants together. That note is sung because it's just a pure vowel. This is R, the, or whatever she's saying. Place, we make the rules. And the same thing actually on the, we, we make the rules. She, that one is also, you could say sung. My guess is that as she goes towards the chorus, it's gonna start to become a little bit more singy and probably go up in pitch because you need to transition it somehow. I've known you 20 seconds, 20 years. And choruses almost never really have that like speech-like quality to them. A lot of times that's the verses because the verses are sort of telling the story whereas the chorus is like the song. There it is. Be this close forever and ever. You're my, 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 my lover. And then back into speaking right on the last note there. That chorus is really pretty. Our friends crash in the living room. This is a little bit more singy than uh, the, the first verse. We could let our friends that's all spoken, but then the N, if you'll notice, is just a sustained vowel. In, 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 in the living room. And then like a little bit of a run. In the living room. I think that's her, I think that's the run, right? Room. Something like that. This is our place. We make the call. And I'm highly suspicious that every summer's now honey. She works the cameras pretty well, actually. She get, got some like really strong direct con eye contact with this camera, and I'm guessing she's looking to a different camera. Can I go where you go? It's the other camera. Can we always be, take me out, take me home? So one of the biggest differences that you'll hear between her like doing her spoken word in the verses and in the choruses is just how she's sustaining the vowels. So like, let's find forever. For, forever and ever. Or what, what, let me see exactly what she's doing. And ever, and ever, and ever. Forever. Those are just two vowels. Ever, ever. ever if she were speaking it, it would almost like not have a melody to it, if that makes sense. And it would also probably not sound like good singing, whereas what she's doing sounds like pretty good singing. So again, right here, uh, the difference between speaking it and singing it is she's saying, My, ah, ah, ah. It's just one vowel. Even though she's saying my, my, the word my, she's just saying, you're, she's just going, you're my, my. And 
our ears are sort of interpreting that as being my, because our ears like to turn sounds into words. But she's not really saying the word, is she? So to me, what she's doing here is a super light, you might say chest voice. She's in her normal speaking voice, let's say, but she's pulling it up and adding a lot of breath to it. She's not quite in her head voice. She hasn't quite switched into a different voice yet. She's still in like her normal speaking voice, but she's kind of just pulling it up and holding it and adding some breath to it, which by the way, if that's something that you're trying to imitate or mimic, I personally think that breathy vocals, or you can sing with breath in a healthy way, and I feel like that's been proven time and time again with singers like Whitney Houston, Beyonce, so on and so forth. Lots of pop singers, big name pop singers with great technique and great voices have sung with breath in their voice. The problem that you can run into with singing with breath in your voice is just be careful not to do it too loud or too aggressively, because it's very easy to take it a little bit too far. And also try not to sing a note breathily that you can't hit in a healthy way without the breath. You know what I'm saying? It should be an artistic choice and not the only way that you can hit the note. It's actually really cool how she's keeping that so light and so full at the same time. To my ears, what she's doing is kind of taking a light tone in her voice, lifting her soft palate at the same time and kind of darkening it so that it's not just super bratty and whiny. So like... My lover, my heart's been uh, ma, ma, ma. So if without lifting your soft palate, something like... And then, but if you have a little bit of a lift and you do the same thing, na 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 na, and she's kind of opening her mouth a little bit more th there too. So it kind of adds some extra texture and darkness to it. So it's not just this bright, bratty sound. Super. It makes it sound super light. <laughs> I really love that transition to her uh, head voice there, or her falsetto, whatever you want to call it. It kind of like emphasizes the word that she's saying too, because she's saying dirty, and you kind of, you know, if you're saying something dirty to someone, you usually want to whisper it. You know, I I could be wrong about this, but I don't necessarily remember Taylor Swift singing with this much like breath in her voice in the past. Let's see if we can find like an old example. Let's just see. Oh my God, 10 years ago. Well, there's a song. What? That they're actually playing on Z100 thanks to you guys. Her hair is so long. What the hell was that? The VHS tape kind of messed up there, I suppose. <laughs> so just just for fun, a few of the differences between uh, her lover performance and this one. This is almost entirely sung the whole way through. And again, the way you know that is because she's singing her low notes, even in the verse here, as just straight vowels. <laughs> See, see you make your way. Those are just vowels as opposed to see you make your way through the crowd, you say, which is kind of more just spoken. She's singing them and she's using pure vowels for that. So there's one difference. It's definitely much, much less breathy. She's definitely incorporated a lot more breath as she's transitioned from country into pop, which is kind of what you do. Modern pop music, they use lots of breath, especially contemporary. There's lots of breath in it. And I feel like it's just getting more and more, especially as singers like Billie Eilish get more and more popular. I only see that trend sort of increasing. But anyway.
she doesn't age either, does she? <laughs> I, I just love the tone of her voice. And that was actually a pretty nice high note there. I like the way that sounded. Oh, oh, oh. So actually, her O oh there, even though she's saying O, oh, that particular O oh moves more towards an O. Oh, 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 oh. You see what I'm saying? It's not an O, oh, which would be kind of like a really intense in your face sort of a, a sound. And I don't think that she wants that. So she kind of like cries into it and holds it back and transitions it towards an O because that sort of contains the sound. So it's not like blaring in your face, which is perfect for the song in this context. She does the same thing on Darlin' as well. Really nice. That was really cool. I'm really happy that you guys recommended for me to check that out. And hopefully you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed listening to it. But anyway, until next time, Tristans and Trist fam, peace out. Oh yeah, check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Goodbye. Yeah.